Greetings loved ones, welcome back to my channel. So this is another self-initiation video and I'm talking basically I wanna vent again. <laughs> um so I'm the first generation uh self initiate in both sides of my family. First generation self initiate in terms of energy spirit water um the elements air fire yeah and water um first generation self initiate who's a prophet and an energy healer um basically a healer <laughs> Um, we all know as self initiates that we are basically set up for failure. To my astonishment, having successfully initiated, gone through easels, gone through stages other people mm -hmm. couldn't go through, to my surprise there is a number of people in in these same family structures who know very well what's going on and know very well what's going on with my life and that i'm a self-initiate yet they say i'm a nothing i'm a nobody how 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 njani njani what is a somebody what is being a somebody? These are the same people who never said anything when I completed and published my book. Never even bought it. Few members of the family bought it. Some didn't read it. This is the same people who don't know, who've never read any of the books that I've ghost written or have edited. These are still the same people who don't watch my channel and they have preferences as to who they go to in terms of youtubers and you know and i know i shouldn't pay no mind but it's difficult when you are in a position where because life is good right but then because of the the, the very demonic entities and very dark things that we fight um in our journey when you're up you're up and then when you go down you don't go down in a normal way so you're always finding yourself in cycles where even if even when and even when it's, 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 I don't know, people still talk. So I guess they want to see you be level to them. Or they're just bringing you down. For me, I just feel like they are just always going to try to bring me down. Because they, they, they've always had something They've always have something to say about me. They're always interested in my life, and I'm I hardly know anything about anyone. I'm I'm hardly interested about anyone's life. If I know something, I know it, but I'm not trying to, you know, be curious. I mean, they're always curious about my life because somehow they're trying to measure. Yo, kuning, kuning, you got one, Jane. By my count and by God's will and count, I have I am very successful and I have achieved plenty. To be able to get here is no joke when I'm basically supposed to be dead. I mean, just the other day, two weeks back, I was two, three weeks back, actually, I was bitten by a poisonous spider. I was fine. I didn't even go to the hospital. You know, I get... Vicious attacks. I mean, not to measure myself by counts of the attacks I get, but like, I mean, I don't have to say, to I don't have to say anything to anyone to prove how valuable I am or how big I am. 
as a light worker and as a healer and as a self-initiate. And me being an energy healer automatically means and I heal through God's frequency frequency. So it automatically means um I'm I've signed up to sort of look like I'm not moneyed well to my family members. Like Hey, and guys, <laughs> and guys, and guys, but just because they see my struggles or they know of my struggles firsthand, I feel like that's what is being focused on and it is to distract me. I feel like people want me to do what they feel like, I feel like people want me to do what they feel like. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know because, as I said, there's not much I can say about people because in my first-hand experiences, they can't possibly, and everyone who I've come across who is, who has um, a gift and is able to see, everyone who I've come across are saying the same thing. I'm like, I'm almost like a person who wasn't supposed to be in the family in the families that i found myself in because that the, there wasn't a provision for me no i was set up for failure no? there wasn't a provision for me to to grow into to being a self-initiate the environment I was around it didn't allow for that i didn't get any mentoring etc etc so there's been a lot of self grooming and reparenting as well in the mix, you know. And the the big thing though for me is that I am successful in what I had to begin doing. Uh that means I broke a lot of generational curses, broke a lot of walls that wouldn't have been broken otherwise. And I'm still going further and stronger. And I'm at a point in my journey where I'm removing the middleman. And it's just me and God directly. Yes, my ancestors will be there. And I will still do some rituals, as I said previously. Because basically, um, it's to remind me that I'm human. And... As I've, I've said in, in, in some videos, there's, there's attacks on people like us of entities that are super spiritual. So, I avoid a lot of things naturally, but things are always coming to me. Like, so, I don't know who I'm speaking to, but mean uh, specifically my story is i'm a first generation and it's a big deal for me it's a big deal for me nobody even the healers abacona on both sides of my family and extended because it's not immediate it's extended the healers of Akona not have not done half as much of the work um, i'm doing and we are doing different things you know and i guess their success is measured as well because i guess well my one cousin i know he gets clients physically and for me god was like i'm not giving you clients because you know what's going on i'm not giving you physical clients because you know what's going on you are going to get online clients mostly and and that is okay you need to be okay with that if there's physical clients, they, they're going to get whatever they're getting. Or you're going to be doing whatever you're going to be doing. And that's that. But you, you'll be getting mostly online clients. And just because people don't see that. I mean, they don't even watch 
my youtube to you know kuning kuning but they just always interested in my life they're always interested to know and make conclusions and as a makulum it's just one of those things where I've, okay, I've been cool with the Colonia all my life because I uh, live in Colonia. However, there's a time where you think uh, people are going to leave you alone because yeah. you are doing the greater good for the family or the community or whatever. You know, the greater good is. And to think they haven't left me alone. For me, it's just my, my spirit is very heavy. That's why I just decided to talk about it. But I'm just urging people like me to just keep on moving forward and what you guys are doing, listening. Uh, I mean, I'm still going to expect at least five people, especially that now that I have no face. I really struggled with my guides. They've been telling me for a very long time to create more content like almost on a daily basis and I was struggling with that. I always had excuses. I always said but this is this and this is that. And this year they are just showing me that this is what they've been wanting for two years and it's been long and it's possible. It's just that I was not listening. So uh, thank you so much for returning the energy I'm giving out and there's more. There's always going to be more. Take care of yourself.